All right, my fifth Desmos hack for you is to recognize when they give you two equations and they use language like can be rewritten as or is equivalent to. Because in these cases, what you can do is you can put the first equation on line one, you can put the second equation on line two in Desmos, get the graphs to perfectly overlap. That's when they're equivalent. So let's go ahead and we're gonna do that in Desmos right now. Now, a big thing with using Desmos is make sure you type it in exactly as the problem gives it to you. The biggest mistake I see students make is they carelessly type in the equation, they forget a negative sign, or they change a plus to a time sign or something, and then they get the question wrong, or maybe one of the numbers that they typed in was incorrect. So just be very careful, make sure that you've typed it in accurately. Now, what's cool about this problem is we don't need to move the slider P around to get it to work because they gave us four values of P. So when they give you values for the constant, just type in each one and it will save you some time. So I'm gonna try 18 first. Now, as you can see, those graphs really are not exactly the same. Let me try 21. Wow, they're almost perfectly overlapping. If I go to the next one, 47, now they get further apart. So 21 was the closest. So, cause I said, which of the following is closest? Look for that language. It doesn't need to be exact. It's an approximate. So our answer is gonna be 21.